All right, make sure the camera's all good. All right, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another one of my videos. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe because you know what help. All right, so basically, if you're starting a YouTube channel in 2022, this is the right video to click on. I'm going to give you guys, like, uh, good advice to help you get on that first step. A lot of people want to start a YouTube channel, but they just don't know, like, the right direction they want to take it. And I kind of been telling all my friends to do YouTube and stuff like that, so... I'm basically gonna tell, like, give y'all advice, like I would give my friends, on, like, how to start a YouTube channel, because I've been doing this for, like, since 2017, but I've been on and off, but I pretty much know the basics to help somebody that's starting off brand new. The first thing that I want to say real quick is you do not need a fancy camera to start a YouTube. Uh, I just have, like, an iPhone. Actually, I'm saying I have a Canon G7X right you know what I'm saying that's what I'm recording off of but you know if you have an iPhone you could literally just record videos on there and there's a way where you could put your settings to like if you go to a uh, video for example if you see right here you click on the top right here you could put in 4k 60 frames per second and then if you try to record off here it's going to be like really you know I'm saying? really clear it's really smooth and everything too so you don't need no fancy camera you know what I'm saying to do that you really just need to start off, you know what I'm saying, if you ain't got nothing, I would say you're just a phone and a laptop to upload videos on. Or you could possibly use your phone and iMovie, you know. I mean, I have Final Cut Pro. It costs a lot. There's a way where I finesse and got my stuff for free. You know what I'm saying? But if you, you know, if you want to just download iMovie on your iPhone, you could, you know, do videos like that on there too, you know. Alright, so here's, uh, you know, my advice part that I would give you guys. The first one is do not, like be like I don't want to post like I really want to make like because I know some people are like this they're like I really want to make a YouTube channel but I'm too nervous what if I'm boring what if they don't like me da 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 who cares if they don't like you you know what I'm saying like who cares because there's so many people in the world so many people be on YouTube from like you know what I'm saying jocks to nerds to all these different type of people you know somebody's gonna like you and you can't just say YouTube is just one you know audience because people get on YouTube to show how different they are from everybody else we all want to like show you our unique personality and I am you know what I'm saying yeah, coming out more comfortable to showing my personality too because I feel like I'm one of the funniest people alive but I just gotta like find a way to show it on the camera without being like nervous or you know what I'm saying so don't be nervous when it comes to doing your video and be you you know what I'm saying you know second thing is you don't want to keep on pushing it back, you know what I'm saying? Because I know some people be like, like, as soon as the new year starts, they're going to be like, I'm going to make a video, I'm going to do a YouTube channel, and then it'll be May, and I'm going to still make a YouTube channel, I just don't know when, and they'll be like, just give me a couple months, and now it's September, you know what I'm saying? And they just keep on delaying it. The best time to make a channel is right now, because like, yeah, like, what's the point of waiting, you know what I'm saying? Like, what are you like trying to wait for? You might as well start, you know what I'm saying? If you want to learn how to swim, how you gonna learn how to do that? You gotta jump in the pool. You know, you can't just like be like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna learn how to swim eventually and never get in the water. That's kind of like what I would say YouTube is, you know what I'm saying? You just gotta like jump in and dive in it. Third advice for all the new people is come up with a catchy name, you know? You ain't gotta steal nobody's name. For example, one of my favorite YouTubers is Pretty Boy Fredo. You ain't gonna see me like come on here talking about I'm Pretty Boy Chris or something like that. I put famous Chris, you know, that's something that I just came up with. No, I ain't steal it from nobody. There are people out there with my name, and, you know what I'm saying, it's my name, you know. I'm the first person to come up with the famous Chris name, and I feel like they just stole it off of me. The fourth thing, advice I want to tell you guys is kind of know who's your audience. Who are you making the videos for? Now, for example, if you come on YouTube, and let's say you, let's say you want to, like you're really good at soccer, and you want to show people, like, how to do all these footworks. So, obviously, your audience is people that are, like, that know how to play soccer, you know, know how to do soccer, or they want to learn how to do that, you know what I'm saying? Because if you find a little audience, it's going to be a lot easier when it comes to making your videos. Whether, or if you just play video games all day, and you love NBA 2K, you know what I'm saying? NBA 2K has one of the most toxic fan bases ever. If you on Twitch, these people, they show no mercy. Like, they literally just so toxic. But, you know, you could, like realize all right these are my audience these are the people i want to be about you know what i'm saying if you're a girl and you want to do makeup you know what i'm saying i want to help people show people how to do you know eyebrows or all that stuff i don't really know too much about it from what i see my sister and stuff do but 
you know what I'm saying? Like, it's good to know who you want your viewers to be. That way you can kind of kind of work with them and just know, all right, um, this is what they want to see. I'm going to show them that. Number five is share your channel with your family. What I mean by that, all right, so, okay, so you came up with the name. You know what I'm saying? You got your name. You got your vibe with whatever, you know what I'm saying? Whatever your name is. You want to first, your first subscribers, your first 20, you know, I'll make that family friends, you know, share it on Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram. Every time I post a video, I post it straight to like Snapchat, a little snippet, or Instagram. And I know not that many people swipe up off my thing, but uh, I have a lot of people on my social media, so that would definitely help. Or if you have like a giant following base on Instagram, like if you had a 50k Instagram followers and you just made a YouTube channel, why not put your um, channel on there? So that mean maybe not all 50k will watch it but at least like i said like 20k or 10k you know what i'm saying like you might as well like use that as an advantage you know what i'm saying no it's really hard to just start on youtube and don't promote yourself at all you know who, like who the hell are like, gonna be like digging deep into your video if you don't like you know yeah, you, you guys know what I'm saying. you could also be like when i get my first 20 subscribers i'm gonna drop my first video that way everybody's like they're already been rushing to your stuff and subscribing real quick and, and yeah Saying that's just something smart that I learned in the past that could help. Another one, try to drop like as many videos as you can. I know I struggle with this. I keep on taking breaks off, but I'm, you know, what I'm, I'm trying my hardest. And this year, I actually been the best when it comes to like my, uh, you know, timing and stuff like that. I try not to go like you no know, three months without doing a video because so far I dropped a video last month, and then I dropped two other more videos since then. You know, so I'm trying my hardest to do that. But it's gonna be a quick video. It's just kind of just helping you start your, you know, YouTube channel. It's like picture like YouTube as like, you know, the stairs. Everybody wanna be on the top floor, but in order to get there, you gotta take that first step. And you know, even if you're nervous or shy or whatever, I feel like you know what I'm saying you should just try it, and then because you might really like it, just do whatever you want to do. And like I said, YouTube has so many different people. Like nobody's really the same. Like you can compare like DDG and then Mr. Beast and like. What's that one girl YouTuber, SS Sniper Wolf, you know? Like, they're all unique in their own ways. So, it doesn't matter if you, like, I don't think people are going to watch my videos or fuck with me. You might as well try. And who knows, they might, you know what I'm saying, really like your video. And then, hey, you can work from there. But that's just my tips on, you know, the best way to approach your YouTube channel and stuff. Like, just start your channel, come up with a name, share, be annoying, you know what I'm saying? Always share that stuff with your friends and stuff like that. And then, hey, and then, you know, you can do whatever video you want, you know what I'm saying? Another advice I can give you is try to stay on the trending topic. Let's give an example. Let's say, like, food. Let's say, like, you're trying this uh, lava burger. That's the new trending topic. Hey, you might as well jump on that trend, too. Try the burger. You know what I'm saying? You always want to stay relevant to whatever it's at, whatever you're doing. If it's a new video game to come out, Grand Theft Auto 6, if you're one of the first people to post, like, you going, like, I, don't, I know they don't do unboxing anymore, but if you're one of the first people to grab that, do a review on it, makeup-wise, if you're a girl, if you're the first people to buy that new Kylie Jenner set or whatever, do a review on it, and I promise you're going to get your reviews. Like, I got a lot of views on my Jollibee video, and I didn't even know that was a topic. We, I just happened to go to Chicago, and I was like, you know, might as well record me trying the food out. If any of these things were helpful to people starting a YouTube channel for the first time, let me know. And please leave a like, and please subscribe, because my channel is only going to get bigger, and I promise I'm not going to abandon all my fans. And, cause I work, you know what I'm saying? I only have like, how many subscribers I have during this video? We're going to check real quick. I have 375. I worked hard for that 375 subscribers. You know what I'm saying? I feel like 75% of the people that watch my video, no, probably like 95. I don't even know in real life, you know. But I appreciate y'all clicking on my video. And yeah, that's basically what I'm doing. Sorry, I'm talking too fast. I just don't want to make this a long video because I know how people get. But definitely, yeah, check out the rest of my videos if you're new. Subscribe to my channel. I'm out.